Never forget that time that Martellus Bennett went after the entire Bears organization. Well, Martellus, tell us what happened. Cal grabbed me by my face mask and he like tried to hurt my neck or whatever. So I got up, I calmly walked to him. I picked him up by his neck and I slammed him and I told him I could be punching you right now, but I don't want to. And then I let him go. And that was the end. And then Brandon Marshall was talking. And then Brandon Marshall was talking to me and and he was like, we need him. I was like, you need me too. He could have broke my neck. And then Brandon was like, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, Brandon, do you want to talk or you want to fight? And then he was like, I'm a six-time pro bowler. Then I said, Brandon, six-time pro bowlers could get knocked out too. So after the team suspended Martellus, he had more words for the front office. And this is what he said. Some of the top people in the Bears organization called me. And I said, he could have broke my neck. I said, and then I said, like, and then what would happen? And he said, well, your neck would have just been broken. I said, fuck you. And I hung up the phone. How do you expect me to react? At some point, I got to set the tone. I can't help it if you feel like I fight with a 10. Yeah, I fight with a 10. I grew up fighting. That's the difference between me and a lot of motherfuckers on the team. I fight to win. You got a bunch of bitches on the roster. They don't fight to win. They just want to push and shove. You can't win with that. You don't need linebackers that use forks and knives. I want linebackers that eat with their hands. You know what I'm saying? I want motherfuckers that worry about how their shoes look. Come out and play. We just had a bunch of bitches on the roster. That's why we didn't win games. And coaches like the bitches. Martellus Bennett, he had a point, man. I mean, whatever you think about the situation, him being out of control as a Chicago Bear, his time with the Bears. But looking at it now, years later, the Chicago Bears are still the Chicago Bears. They are who they are. The Bears are what we thought they were. What, what, they're what we thought they were. That's why they're picking number one in the 2023 NFL Draft. The Bears are who we thought they were. A crappy organization. <laughs>